what are you guys up to? <laughs> you know a what? lot of miscellaneous nonsense yes. and trouble. Yes, there's 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 not much to be said for this day. Um, last night everybody was partied out. Oh and my goodness! It's just me and Jennifer. It is. It is. You know, <laughs> Israel's we, not here. Nothing. We we are fucking troopers. We are. <laughs> That's good. That's okay. I'm like the Raiders. I have a commitment to excellence, Antibird, so I'm here. So uh, I have <laughs> missed you, buddy. How have you been? Oh, I've been pretty good. And how about you? I have been wonderful, darling. Thank you. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. You it's know, like... I know it's uh, Jiggy's birthday. It is indeed. Yes, officially today. Yes. Now, uh, did you did you get uh, Jiggy a special birthday gift? <laughs> I'm buying him dinner. Uh, <laughs> She's gonna buy me crab rangoon for dinner. <laughs> uh, those are great. I now, love you know, them. Well, that's what he wants. Having, so, you know, uh, some several months oh. ago, uh, of course, uh, Jiggy announced that it was his uh, birthday coming up and that he would be having some sort of a, a roast. Yes, and, he uh, he I, did I, have a roast last night. It was great. It was great. It's, I mean, not everybody no. there was too funny, but um, Will C showed up. He was he was wonderful. It was great to see him live for a second time. Uh huh. National One, touring comedian Will C, who's been on HBO and Storage Hunters, was in the building. Wonderful and, uh, performer. And uh, absolutely love seeing him every time. He he is he is a wonderful person to be around, and very very sweet. I feel like this is the talk radio X and radio Xenu equivalent of Regis and Kelly. Uh, I'm, wow. I'm Kelly, but uh, <laughs> the <laughs> Jesus. Well, you know, uh, when, when when Jiggy had uh, proposed that um, he, th there would be a roast, of course, um, having a comedic mind, I, I, I thought I'd jot down some notes. Uh, should I ever have to roast uh, Jiggy? And I thought about it. And I said, you know what? Every day I talk to Jiggy, I'm roasting him. So maybe on his birthday, uh, I would. You not you just need to. You need to bundle up. Day. You need to write these things down, and you know, you just have to bundle them all up together, and just give Jiggy as much shit as you possibly can. Yeah, his, his roast started back in 2006. <laughs> <laughs> well. uh... Antibert, um, what what do you make of this uh, this this video that is that has that had six views on the on the old YouTube's? It has six views, and it's angered uh, Jan Starks, aka Bob Williams, and he's he took well, offense. I can't believe he took I, offense. I can't believe you caved at that. Of course, uh, Jiggy is referring to a. <laughs> A, a bit where I called up and pretended to be uh, Jan Starks, and uh, we had a little f a fun with it. And of course, um, uh, Bob Williams or Jeannie Starks or Jan Starks, one of those, deemed it offensive. <laughs> and I couldn't help of, of thinking, like, what could offend a child rapist with uh, who grew <laughs> boobies in jail? That must be pretty bad uh, to offend a child rapist. <laughs> that is very, it's very offensive. I, I think, I think the numbers are the thing that uh, <laughs> that, that 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 offends him. Uh, and <laughs> the fact that the fact that that video only got six views, I think might have offended him. I don't know. Right. <laughs> But if you do Jan Stark's math, that's actually six million views. So that's that's right. <laughs> Did you get a chance to to see that um, the rest of that Ed video of 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 him playing the voicemail, his proud moment of Jan going, "Well, this is brr 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 brr," you know, because they always censor it. I don't know why they censor it. You got six million listeners without being advertised. <laughs> Congrats, my friend. Congrats. <laughs> you know what I hate. Snotty bitches. That's what I yeah. hate. That just came out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am messaging this female on Facebook who is yelling at me about my ex-boyfriend who hasn't been my boyfriend since we were in fucking middle school. And she's like, 
well, uh, you'll never be with him again. I'm like, bitch, I know this. I don't want to be with him. And, yeah, she's being stupid, calling me shady. Yeah. (laughs) Stupid bitches. By the way, to all you stupid bitches out there, fuck off. Yeah, you know what you should have responded? You should have said, yeah, after last night, I'm never going to be with him again. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my word. I don't even know how to reply to that. That, I don't even know how to, like, come back with something that... (sighs) I'm kind of speechless. I, I did not expect that. And... If I even said that, oh my god, that would start so much drama. And I'm I'm not about that life, so Of course, of course, we all know I'm not about drama. Everybody knows I'm drama free here. Oh yes. We yeah, that's, that's funny. See, this that's is my this line. is my only place <laughs> of drama is you. at Jiggy's. Hey, I I don't like I said, I don't do drama. If I see drama coming in one direction, I run the opposite direction. Unless you're the one who's starting the drama. I don't start drama. <laughs> oh, really? You went in the opposite direction so you could jump on a motorcycle because, and um... speed towards it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yes! We ought to... I'm gonna... I am going to find... I'm gonna take that clip and I'm gonna turn that into a liner. I'm gonna go find a motorcycle sound effect <laughs> That is fantastic. Jiggy Jaguar doesn't believe in drama. And then, of course, there'd be the line that Antibert goes, No, he's going in the opposite direction and get on a motorcycle and. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. You know, I noticed uh, another weird thing about you. I was looking through my uh, Facebook posts. And there was a post from uh, KJAG Radio, which, of course, is you. <laughs> and you were um, congratulating the founder. Of uh, K Jag Radio, and I said that wow, you've been hanging out with Bob Williams too long. <laughs> I figured you'd pick up on that. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> that reeks of Genie Starks, right? There. <laughs> I I had a pleasant conversation this morning with uh with with someone and was educating him on the numbers of uh of KKRP <laughs> and uh, he told me he goes so what all the numbers are bullshit really <laughs> I know your accent's bullshit what <laughs> he's like really the numbers are just made up and then he said well you know I was I, he said he was going to air my show last week and it didn't and I got a hold of him uh oh she's tripping microphones she's doing all sorts of shenanigans but um, he told me, he said, uh, he said I, 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 I checked out the show last week, and he goes, I wasn't on. And he goes, so I emailed him, and I said, hey, you know, my show didn't run on Saturday. Oh, what's going on? And then he got back with him and goes, oh, ho, 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 we had an intern who didn't push the right button. No. Oh, my God. He goes, it'll be on this next week. On so he listened and it wasn't on and he goes i'm gonna get a hold of him and see what he has to say so and he's and he's still got a hundred thousand listeners that's, that's right pretty, you don't even have to be on the network don't even have to be on the network to get the to get the numbers <laughs> what about indictments in hutchison <laughs> oh the professor is here <laughs> Okay, well, listen. That's a good. Uh, it's a good cue for me to uh, get out. I, I'm actually on the road and I have to uh, run. I pulled over to talk to you. That's fine. But, no um, problem. Thank uh, you, sir. I will catch you later and um, uh, tell Jen. I, I know she's off uh, doing something. Uh, no, tell her, uh, she is. She's back. back real soon. I don't okay. know if you can hear me. Oh. I might have fucked something up. No, I can hear you. No, you're okay. Okay. But uh, you guys take care. Have a great show, and I will talk to you next week. Okay. Yes, and and before I let you go, Antibert, think about something. Um, I I am going to be doing this roast again next year. You need to figure out what it's going to cost to bring you in, because I'm going to see if we can pull the money together and bring you in and, and have and you. have and have you do a stand up performance 
and roast well, me. Well, first of all, I, it's, in order for me to do that, I'd have to be nice to you all year. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't be okay. nice to him all year. Just be worse <laughs> at the roast. Oh, that's true. You know, that's that's the kind of thinking I like. <laughs> okay, what Antibert, have fun. All right, I'll be in touch. Happy birthday. Thank you, sir. Right, Appreciate it. Bye. Antibert from Talk Radio X, of course. Uh, my my lover. At some stage of the game, our our, our other buddy Pip from Radio Xenu will probably call in. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, that's the thing about me and Antibert. We have a wonderful voice. Romantic connection.